Alright guys, you saw the title for this video. In this video on Domination, I'm going to beat the game as Micronesia. Well, technically the Federated States of Micronesia, but, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna call it Micronesia. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and a sub, as I'll drink up the channel a ton. If you really enjoyed this video, you can also drop a super thanks. And without further ado, let's kind of just get in this video. So basically guys, if anyone's wondering, number one, no, this isn't a fan suggestion. And number two, guys, if you, uh... Like, if it's difficult to hear my voice due to the music, uh, just turn on captions. And, uh... Wow. Okay. Anyways, I guess what we're gonna do is that, like, um, we're gonna just swap the fascism really quickly, and trust me, um, I'm going to explain why, guys. It's because, like, we're just going to get, like, a really quick discount on everything that we buy, and I just realized, because our GDP per capita is so low, we can buy things for almost nothing. Wow. Um, let's buy, like, 800... Now to buy like 300. Okay, now pause the game, swap back to a democracy, and now try again an alliance. Okay. Um, maybe. Speed up the game. Is the price going up or down? That's what matters. Okay, it's going up. Okay, and now the price went down because we now have an army. Let's invade uh, the Solomon Islands. Since realistically, I don't think they're going to be able uh, to rebel. Okay. Let's send our army. Pause the game. Oh, wow, the price actually went up. Okay. I guess we'll just ally to Russia. And now let's check uh, our claims. Okay. Let's invade Vanuatu, and let's actually send about half of our army to also go for Mauritius. Because if we take Mauritius, our economy is going to go up, a, a, like, a lot. And there they go. And now let's send our entire army to go for, um... Maybe Fiji, after we finish off Vanuatu. Okay. They literally just surrendered instantly. But wait, where is Vanuatu? What? Where? Like, the game says they're still there, but where are they? I have no idea. Maybe this is just a glitch, so I guess we'll just ignore it. And I am... Uh, or should I say, I was going to invade Papua New Guinea, but never mind. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get much. Actually, no, we might be able to join our territory while we actually... They actually rebelled. Well, no, not rebelled, I mean surrendered. Let's go over here. Okay. Now to take this island. And now this. And I think this is enough. Pause the game. And now, I guess, um, if we can, we'll ally with China. Okay, cool. Uh, who can we invade? I guess maybe we can invade, uh, like, maybe Madagascar. Although they usually have a lot of rebels, so it's usually not worth it. And never mind, we should have gone for Mozambique. Now I think about it. Actually, let's send half of our army to go for Mozambique. Okay. They literally just surrendered, like, almost instantly. And... Okay, South Korea actually got a small colony. Okay. Let's invade... I'm actually wondering, is there any economic value in what they talk? No, not really. Okay. Now let's invade Malawi. And we're actually dealing with a lot of rebels, which could be a problem. And we actually lost a lot of troops. So maybe this wasn't worth it. But who knows? 
anyways, um, I guess maybe we'll invade... Never mind, they have an army. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, we don't really have any targets. Um, never mind, I found one. The Dominican Republic. Wait, the DRC has no troops. Okay, if we can eventually wait. Oh wow, we actually have a border with Tanzania. Please don't declare war. No, 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 no. We're not going through the territory if the army's there. That, that's just stupid. Speed up the game. Now, uh, let's invade Tanzania. Do they have any allies? I'm assuming no. No, they don't. Okay. Let's continue the invasion. And I know we are losing a lot of troops, but really, there's no one else for us to invade, so we don't really have a choice. Okay. They surrendered. Let's invade Burundi. And Rwanda. And Zambia. Okay. And now let's invade Kenya. And now we might actually get our army destroyed. I am not joking. So let's buy some commandos. Let's swap back to a democracy. Pause the game. And let's continue our invasion of Kenya. Speed up the game. Any allies? I'm assuming no. Okay. Uh oh, oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of rebellions. And, uh, wow. We got almost nothing. Okay, let's send our army over here. We could have taken Myanmar, but we failed, because we missed that opportunity, and we also missed the opportunity to take over Angola. Wait. I mean, our army just isn't powerful enough to survive uh, fighting against rebels. Japan, please don't declare war. Okay, cool. Now let's buy some gunners. Fine, let's go for like the non-populated areas. Like, when we invade Russia most of the time, uh, we go for Siberia because it just doesn't have like any real population that can rebel. So we're going to do the same thing with Angola. Are you serious? Why? There was actually a chance our army could have gone destroyed right there. Just go for it. Wait, did Japan declare war on us? Let's finish off Zambia. Why are we at war? Okay. And now let's all go for the DRC. Okay, I don't think Thailand is going to declare war, but like, just in case. Okay, they didn't care. And now guys, after I finish off the DRC, please give me a moment because, uh, yeah, there's literally nothing we can do. Like, the DRC is literally one of the last remaining nations that we actually can, like, invade, because anyone else, uh, we probably just fail entirely. Okay. And now we've taken practically all the land we can even take without getting obliterated. Okay. And I mean, we can still technically go for the Dominican Republic, but I think they're probably defended by someone like the United States. Okay, Argentina and Mexico. Okay. Let's try build our army. Now let's swap back to a democracy. And the reason we bought gunners is because, like, uh, gunners uh, can invade pretty quickly. So yeah, we're just gonna use them. Okay. Now let's go over here. Let's get this ready. And I'm not sure who even went through and didn't declare war. I mean, Honduras doesn't have much. And their defense power isn't that much, so honestly, yeah, let's invade them first. Pause the game. Slow down the game. 
well, uh, our troops literally just went to waste. Amazing. Okay. And wow, they got conquered. So that was for nothing. Okay, I guess we'll also have to invade Guatemala. Otherwise, uh, our troops literally would have been for nothing. Warrior friends. the coast. Please, don't declare war, I'm begging you. And actually, if Qatar gets really weak, uh, we can probably invade them. I mean, they only have 2 million troops, so they're getting pretty close. Let's go over here as well, although I think this area can actually have rebels. Okay. Now, like, uh, I'm not really sure what to talk about, but I do know that for sure we've cut off almost any nation from invading Iran now, so, yeah, we can kind of just invade, uh, now slowly. We really don't need to be scared that someone else will take the land. Well, besides Russia. Okay. Let's just defend. Okay. And now, we really need to rebuild our army. Okay. Now speed up the game. And to be honest guys, uh, yeah, we can't really invade. So yeah, we're just gonna have to let them take the territory. Swap back to a democracy. Not to bring the commandos. Not to go over here. Let's also go over there. Please. No. Okay. And I mean, we got the south, so it's better than nothing. Not to go over there. And now let's invade Qatar. Because I have a feeling that someone else is going to invade them very soon. Although they are allies with South Korea and Australia and Palestine. And their defense power is about 100 million. But I think we'll be able to take over Qatar before their allies arrive. Okay. Please. Okay, cool.
now let's go right back home and now guys uh probably just give me a moment because now we're not really doing much i guess now we're supposed to kind of just build up our army until something happens and the dominican republic uh yeah i got invaded and wow russia's getting invaded okay well, we're gonna have to invade siberia because we literally can't go for any other territory without being absolutely obliterated. Just go for it. Like, right there. And is North Korea also invading them? No, it isn't. Okay, speed up the game. Let's buy this. Who declared war? Literally no one. Okay, never mind. North Korea declared war. And there actually are rebels here. Any allies? China, please remain my ally. Okay, cool. United States, you're still my ally. Okay, cool. And now, guys, uh, we're gonna have to literally just invade Siberia because there's nowhere else uh, in Russia that we can take without getting absolutely just demolished by rebels. It's actually pretty sad to know that we have to abandon like 99% of a valuable land just because of this. And North Korea, please, just stop. Okay, much better. Because they literally just destroyed half of our army. There's no way uh, our army got destroyed that much if I just rebels. Okay, come on. Let's, uh... Actually, the discount really does matter. Now when I think about it. Democracy. Now let's keep going. Speed up the game. Let's go over here. Not send the commandos over there. Come on. Now let's go over here. Now let's take this area. Because it's at least, like, kind of valuable. Okay, cool. And now maybe we can actually go for the European part of Russia. I mean, it's not totally taking over. And is North Korea still trying to stop us? No. Who will be trying to stop us? Oh, okay. Because I saw someone try to stop us. Oh, okay. Now let's keep going. Seriously? Pause the game. Let's buy this that. Now let's keep going. And the reason I don't want to spread is because I have a feeling that if we spread, our army is just going to get destroyed. Come on. Although now when I think about it, uh, maybe we should spread? Oh, Russia actually built an army. Okay, interesting. Let's go over here specifically. South Korea, why? guys, uh, to be honest, now that I think about it, maybe just give me a moment to finish off Russia, because I have a feeling it's just gonna take way too long uh, on camera. Swap back to a democracy. Speed up. Oh crap, they're invading. Go for it. Seriously? Go for it. Finally. Dude. Okay, you know what, guys? Uh, give me a moment. Alright, guys, I'm back. Uh, yeah, South Korea literally just kept destroying my army, and there was really not much I could do at that point. And Russia just keeps, uh, like, rebuilding its army over and over, so... Yeah, this was the best I could get. Um, it's terrible, I know. But, I mean, it's better than nothing. So I guess we'll just have to take it. I mean, we can go for Argentina, at the very least. So let's rebuild our army before someone else invades them. Let's swap back to a democracy. Let's buy this. Let's get this ready. Come on. Really can't take that long. And I mean now, the only real threat that Russia poses is that, like, they might try to go back for their land. Although that's not a guarantee. Now let's swap back to a democracy. 
but I think we'll be able to just pay them off immediately if they try. Okay, now let's go for Argentina. Did, did we seriously? Oh, I thought they declared war. No, they didn't. Who are you allied to? Okay. Who else? Interesting. Who else? Okay, that's basically everyone. Let's just spread. Over here. Also there. Okay. And wow, the invasion actually isn't going terribly. That's kind of surprising. Let's buy this. Now let's go for Peru. And now I'll give you a peace deal. Okay, cool. Pause the game for your allies. Oh. Oh crap. Never mind. Anyways, uh, let's try to finish off Peru as fast as we can. Battles. Okay, no one so far. No. Seriously? Again? No. Why? Okay, there's no way we didn't have a battle. And honestly, they're just really weak anyways, so let's just invade them. Who are your allies? Oh, okay. Well, uh, Spain is one of them, so that might be a problem. Actually, no, they don't seem to care. And wow, our defense power is really low. What happened? Okay. Speed up the game. Now let's go uh, right back home. And who can we invade? It's the big question. And wow, China. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. Although no one's really winning by percentage. And Russia... I mean, we could always go for you, but now... Probably not. Japan, mm. military tab. Maybe Yemen. Mm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to go for Yemen. We don't really have any other target. Pause the game. Swap back to a democracy. Speed up the game. And I'm beginning to realize how long this video is becoming. So maybe I'll do something about that. Who knows? Not invade Yemen. I knew that was going to happen. No. Diplomacy map. Okay, interesting. Okay, we'll invade Sudan. Spread. Please no. Okay. Wait, seriously? Oh crap. Okay. Um, we forgot to pay a few nations, and now our army has ended up like 80% destroyed, and finally they quit. Because it's kind of the only one we can invade without getting absolutely closer to ourselves. Anyways, Libya, maybe we'll go for you. Because we will get access to the Mediterranean, and, uh... Yeah, I think that will put us in a pretty good position if we get that. Pause the game, now swap back to a democracy. Speed up. Let's buy this. Never mind, Russia. Please, stop. Saudi Arabia, didn't we have a peace deal? Dude, like, how does this keep happening? Come on. Okay. Now send our army. Again. 
And after this, guys, please just give me a moment, because, like, yeah, this video is taking way too long. Like, by this point, we should have already begun invading NATO. Come on, let's go for you. Sweden, why? I'm actually surprised that Germany kept most of their allies. Anyways, um, let's spread against Oman. Okay, there they go. Now let's go right back home. And, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what we should do. I guess until something happens, uh, please give me a moment. Uh, yeah, guys, give me a moment. Actually, no, innovate Mauritania. map. Okay, interesting. What's your army? Okay. Never mind. Okay. Anyways, guys, until something happens, please give me a moment. Alright, guys, I'm back. And uh, to be completely honest, I think it's time to get rid of Russia. Basically, guys, uh, Turkey invaded Iraq, so I just joined in. And now, uh, we're gonna invade Algeria, and probably also Libya. But in the meantime, guys, uh, yeah, I can't really pacify Russia much longer because they keep demanding more and more money, and it's getting to a point where eventually I won't be able to pay it. So, yeah, we're probably going to have to invade them, just knock them out from the game immediately at this rate. Uh, we're going to just build up our army uh, and just try to defend against Russia. Okay, let's buy this. And now, guys, um, okay, I think our army is powerful enough to defend, I think. Well, no, they are ranked stronger. Never mind, not anymore, but still. By the way, why is our GDP per capita so high? I just noticed. Okay, no, guys, um... ally to everyone they're allied with. Oh, okay. And now, guys, uh, let's buy this one. Let's get this ready. Pause the game. Well, Egypt is pretty weak, so let's finish them off. And there's no way China only has four million troops, never mind. Maybe we'll fight like with India. Saudi Arabia. Um, fine, I guess we'll fight you as well. Okay, and we got a lot of land. Let's invade Saudi Arabia. Okay, spread. And now I just realized something. Our army is really weak now. So maybe this was a bad idea. China, please remain my ally. I mean, we could go for Morocco, but honestly, the territory remaining is practically worthless. So it's really just not worth it. Dude, why does our GDP per capita keep going up? Okay, speed up the game. Let's buy this. I think, honestly, we just need to like, uh, fight Russia directly. Like, we really can't keep running. By the way, did, did Canada lose its allies or something? Oh wow, it did. Okay, interesting. Let's invade it. Speed up. I was wondering why uh, China was able to invade it. So yeah, I decided to like, just check really quickly. 
pause the game. Let's give him a peace deal. Okay, cool. Now to go right back home. Now to buy this. Why, dude? Why did I? How did I forget? Come on. Diplomacy map. I knew it. See, the price just keeps going up. Okay. Let's buy this. Okay, let's invade Mexico. Since their only ally is the United States. Well, no. Also, Chile and the Vatican, but I don't think the Vatican is going to be able to uh, provide much. And Chile, uh, we'll just ally with you. Okay, come on. Now to go with Mexico. Okay, come on. Okay, there they go. Now to go right back home. Pause the game. Let's buy this. Again, dude. Uh, okay, like at this point, uh, we have to invade them. We really don't have a choice. Pause the game. Swap back to a democracy. Let's see their army. Okay, we will win in a war, but like, it's just that we're going to lose so much of our army. Okay guys, you know what, I'm just going to build up my army, and until then, please uh, give me a moment. Alright guys, I'm back. I checked the military tab, and uh, yeah, Brazil is an amazing target. We're going to go for them. Although they are allied to a lot of nations. Okay, let's check. Who cared? Okay, give me a moment. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I paid everyone, and now, uh, we can actually, wait, what, okay, also Iceland, and now guys, we can actually invade Brazil, speed up the game, our economy is literally going to more than double this invasion, okay, I was scared that Russia declared war on us, but never mind, it's just And now we have a massive economic source uh, that we can use now to defend against Russia. And now I guess, like, finally, our economy might finally be, like, large enough that we can, uh, like, actually uh, fight Russia. Finally. Come on. Let's finally get planes. Now swap back to a democracy, speed up the game. Let's buy even more planes. Now let's swap back to a democracy again. And now uh, let's finally fight Russia. Wow, they declared war themselves, okay. Let's hold a defensive position. We destroyed their army, okay. Keep going. Now let's invade them. France, please. Who else? Okay, North Macedonia. And China, we're already allies with. So we can actually just invade them now. Wait, China. Okay, they abandoned us. Let's ally again. And Germany's at war with us for some reason. Let's pay them off. Now it's spread against Russia. And North Korea, uh, you know what? Let's just get rid of you. I don't think you have any allies. Never mind. Uh, Australia and Indonesia. Okay. Well, there they go. 
Now to actually just finish off Rush, huh? Come on, it really can't take that long. Pause the game. We need to buy troops. Now to swap back to democracy. And for some reason, everyone is declaring war on Japan. I literally don't know why. But I guess we'll join in if Japan becomes really weak. And is Italy trying to stop us? Really? Even Azerbaijan? I mean, it doesn't say they're allies, but maybe. Anyways, Portugal. No. Come on. Concerning. We should probably do something about this. I actually know this is extremely concerning. Oh, oh god. Uh, yeah, we need to do something about this. Uh, Japan, why are we even at war? Okay, come on. Wow, Russia finally surrendered. United Kingdom, why are we at war? Uh, I'll give you your land, it's fine. Anyways, Germany. They are getting pretty weak. Let's go right back home. Now, let's prepare our army to invade them. Back to a democracy. Pause the game. Now to buy this. Now speed up the game. Please remain my ally. Okay, who are your allies? Okay, I think we can probably invade uh, Germany with no problems. Let's just wait for the troops. Let's go for it. Anyways, now it's spread. And yay, we saved Europe. Anyways, well, no, technically we're still invading Europe, but uh, I think we all know what was going to happen if we didn't do this. Anyways, now to finish off, uh, well, no, not finish off, more or less uh, kind of just uh, pay off Indonesia. Come on. And Rome will literally become the capital of Germany. Wow, this makes a lot of sense. Anyways, let's also invade Italy at the same time. United States, why are we at war? Um, they have a claim, right? No, they don't. Okay, that's really weird. Spread. Speed up the game.
everyone else is definitely not going to get their claim. Croatia, let's invade you. Now to invade Bulgaria. And North Macedonia. And Greece. And Cyprus. And Japan, why are we at war? Australia also, why are we at war? And now guys, um... Yeah, I think now we can maybe go for the victory. Oh, oh, oh wow, we have saved up a lot of money. We can afford a lot of weapons. Okay. Swap back to a democracy. Let's buy this. Now let's invade uh, Iceland. Speed up the game. Let's spread against them. Turkey, uh, yeah, we'll go for you immediately after Iceland. Spread. France. Spain. Okay. United Kingdom? No. Okay. Come on, really can't take that long. Trust me, they'll surrender eventually. Wow, there's actually a lot of economic value here, okay. Anyways, uh, now let's check. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure who we can even invade, if I'm being totally honest. Um, maybe just Japan. Wait, what even is their army? Okay, just 40 million, we'll invade them. But first, Australia. Since they have no troops. No, I did not mean to declare war on Japan. Please. Wait, we destroyed their army. I mean, someone else is going to invade them if we don't invade them. Never mind. Everyone go for Japan. Someone else will definitely invade them if we don't invade them. Like, dude, we really don't have a choice. Why did I start this war? India. Why? Okay, I know we are getting kind of close to winning, but still... Um... We're not that close. Okay, now let's go right back home. Let's invade Australia. Come on. Let's buy this. Indonesia. Okay, we'll also invade you. United States, why? South Korea, why? Remain my ally, please. Oh, never mind. China. Okay, come on. Please. Um, there's no one we can go for who would like actually lead to us uh, getting a victory. Let's spread against Belgium. Everyone against Belgium. United States. Why? Let's buy the planes. United Kingdom, please. No. Did they surrender? Okay. India, we'll give you your claim. Now let's go right back home. Can we please be allies? Okay. Who can we go for? There's no one besides China that would lead to like a guaranteed victory, so I guess we just have to build up our army and invade China. And honestly, fine. We'll swap to permanent fascism. It doesn't even matter at this point. Come on. I guess we'll just wait till China uh, destroys their army. I mean, they are invading the United States, so... Wait. I mean... I don't think we have a choice. We kind of have to join in. If we don't want them to become, like, a massive threat... Fine, let's join in. Even though we were trying to save up our army. Let's go for it. One unit. Okay, now they are really weak. Now just spread. this. Come on. Let's 
breath, please. Wait, do they surrender? Are they close to surrendering? I think they might be close to surrendering. Where are they? Wait, where are they? Okay. Uh, France, you can have your claim. India, you can have your claim. China, you can have your claim. India. Okay, you can have your claim. United Kingdom, you can also have your claim. Come on. Now we can go right back home. Who's winning? Okay, China. Wait, what? Where even are you? Okay, peace deal. Now, now it's just speed up. And I have an idea. Wait. Oh, I nuked China. That was by accident. India. Please, don't be at war with me. Okay, France, let's pay you off. Wait, now let's check a uh, population map. Oh. Oh, so that's what it does. Okay. Anyways, um... What can we really do? I guess we'll just keep building up our army to uh, China. Like, we can actually invade them. Like, listen, we can invade them, but our army might actually get destroyed. And especially, and especially like, if the world does a coalition on us at that point, yeah, our army will definitely get destroyed. Wait, what? They actually passed us by percentage. Okay, that's enough. Go for it. And wow, our capital literally became massive. Wow. Okay, cool. Anyways, come on. We are so close to winning. Come on. I mean... They're not even trying to stop us. Because I think the AI knows that it's just, uh, it's over if it tries to stop, if it tries to stop us. But I guess we'll just spread. Come on. I mean, no one can really stop us realistically, and even if India tries to stop us, uh, we'll destroy their army, guaranteed. So yeah, we won. Okay, cool. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you really enjoyed this video, you can also drop a super thanks. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. And I'm actually pretty surprised that the Zoto survived to the end. Okay, bye guys. Wait. And now, bye.